everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Holly, a personal trainer, and today I want to share with you some of my favorite snack ideas. I have a lot of clients who eat pretty healthy, but when we start to talk about their diet, they go, well, it's, it's the little things throughout the day. It's the snacks. Like, my meals are good, but it's the snacks that are a problem. And so we have a lot of conversations about snacking and what's healthy snacks and when to eat them. So I want to provide some ideas that I think are great healthy snacks so that you don't get stuck when you're, you're at the office eating things like donuts and muffins and candy and chips out of the vending machine and whatever happens to be lying around um, where you're stuck with just whatever junk you have at home. So I want to give you some good healthy snack ideas uh, to keep throughout your day. So you can eat maybe between breakfast and lunch and then you can eat again between lunch and dinner. Snacking throughout the day helps to keep you satiated so that you don't go from lunch to dinner and have like five or six hours in between and then you get to dinner and you just eat everything in sight because you're so hungry. So it's really helpful to eat throughout the day um, to help prevent those like binges and overeating. It also just helps to keep your blood sugar and metabolism in a steady state. So if you're looking for some good snack ideas, I have a few for you. I'm not going to go through every idea, but some of my favorites, one of the most basic, is rice cakes and peanut butter. It's a great, yummy, salty snack. Um, or, I also love rice cakes with hummus. Hummus is a great, healthy option. Um, and rice cakes I really like because you can eat them with hummus without getting the heaviness of something like pita bread or tortilla chips. Rice cakes are much lower in calories. Um, so those are a great option. I also like using with hummus things like carrot sticks, cucumber, celery sticks. Those are great options where you can get in some veggies throughout your day, get an extra serving of those, um, along with a little bit of protein um, and some other carbohydrates. So hummus is a great option. Uh, I also, another thing that I like with good old rice cakes is avocado. Um, so I know a lot of people do avocado on their toast. They're really great with rice cakes. If you just mix a little bit of like sea salt in with some avocado, put it on top of a rice cake and you can eat it like that or you can top it with something like smoked salmon or you can top it with something like deli meat. I don't recommend eating this kind of thing too often because it is processed. I only eat this every once in a while or when I just need some protein to go, but to look for the most natural options that are not full of MSG or tons of sodium, although most of them have a lot of sodium in there, but things that don't have added steroids and hormones and things like that. So a little deli meat or tuna or smoked salmon can be a great option to put on top of rice cakes or to just even eat those just with avocado. You can combine them, you can eat them separately, but that's a great way to get in some healthy protein and fat throughout your day, which will help keep you full versus if you're just eating candy or empty carbohydrates or sodas or things like that. So it'll keep your energy up, but in a much healthier way. I also like Greek yogurt. I do that a lot with fruit uh, or with nuts or plain, or maybe mix with some protein powder for flavor. I also like to do things like kefir, kefir, kef however you properly pronounce that. Um, so it's just more of a liquid, liquidy version of yogurt. So you can just have a cup of this or you can mix this with something like protein powder or again blend it up with some berries and ice and have it more like a smoothie. But this is great because it's got a lot of protein. It's 12 carbohydrates and 11 protein but it's still low in fat. Um, so just plain unsweetened not full of sugar kind but just a plain uh, Greek yogurt is a great way to get in some healthy protein uh, and some probiotics throughout your day as well. One of my go-to's is also uh, nuts. Mixed nuts, almonds, cashews. Um, this is just one variety that has a bunch of them in there. Um, but those are great. You have to be very careful with nuts because it's easy to overeat them. But those are great if you actually measure out an ounce or however much you want to eat to get in healthy fats and protein again. Um, those help to keep you full for a while. And then another great easy, convenient option is a protein shake or a protein bar. So I've done a video on protein bars. Quest is one of my favorites. Um, so I will pretty much always have one of these in my purse with me at all times. 
um, because you never know when you're gonna get stuck somewhere and not have food and that's such an easy way to have a healthy snack on you or a healthier option though it is processed a lot better than running to junk food or candy or something like that so I love having those on hand I like to take those maybe to the office if I'm gonna be gone all day and I just don't have all day to pack or don't have all time the day before to pack snacks it's easy to always have a protein bar on hand another option is protein shakes um, and so I will normally do those post-workout but sometimes those can be good if you need something just quick and easy to have protein powder and water on hand or milk um, so additionally in this video is sharing some snacks with you I'm going to open and review this protein powder um, I don't know if it's pronounced Kayo or Kayo, but they contacted me asking for a review. And this is a vegan, non-GMO, gluten-free, dairy-free protein powder with no artificial sweeteners. Uh, the nutrition on it is for one packet, it's 156 calories, it is 11 carbohydrates, 20 grams of fiber, and 6 sugars, and just 90 grams of sodium. So all that's in it is pea protein, fava protein, hemp protein, cacao, organic cane sugar, natural chocolate flavor, not natural vanilla flavor, natural butter flavor, xanthan gum, and stevia extract. So one thing, although I haven't tasted it yet, that I like about this is that um, along with being things like non-GMO, that they just use stevia in it to sweeten it versus sucralose or aspartame or anything like that. So I'm going to unbox this. I have not tasted this. I know nothing about it. They just contacted me asking me to give it a review. So this box comes in a bunch of little packets. So I don't know if you were to buy a container if it comes like normal protein powder where it's a scoop, but this is a package of packets um, with all the nutrition that I just told you about. So it indicates to mix this packet with uh one point oh sorry one cup of water i was reading the amount was in the packet one cup of water um or mix with almond or rice milk so i typically will mix my protein shakes with um coconut milk or almond milk sometimes water i'll do like a half and half blend of water and coconut milk just to give it more consistency and flavor typically a lot of protein shakes with just water are just not very good um, or you normally have to do a very low ratio of water so I'm gonna test this one out and see a lot of the vegan um, protein powders can be very chalky and a little unflavorful they usually take more water to mix so we'll see I'm gonna use coconut milk and water with this so delicious coconut milk so I'm gonna put about four ounces of that in and I will typically do about a cup um, mixed of coconut milk and water. So we'll add that in. And then sometimes I'll also add in some ice cubes, one to help break up um, the powder and help mix it a little bit better, but also just to get a little bit more coldness to it because a lot of times the colder it is, the better it's gonna taste. And then I will mix this in here here try not to spill it everywhere almost got it okay and then and sometimes I will do a lot of protein shakes aren't super high in calories so sometimes I'll also add maybe again like a small small amount of nuts or something to go along with it you could also do some fruit you can also always blend these in a blender with ice fruit peanut butter pb2 things like that um, just to help give it a little bit better consistency I know some people really don't want to have protein shakes unless it's shaken up or uh, blended hello there so in the middle of filming tasting the protein shake and trying it for the first time my camera cut out uh, it picked up back later when I realized that the camera had stopped working, so I lost that footage, but I wanted to fill you in on what I was saying, which is when I tasted the shake for the first time, my impression was that it is earthy, very natural tasting, um, pretty clean, 
not not that taste that's kind of fake that you get with a lot of protein powders. So it, it tastes very natural and um, earthy, which I actually like from uh, vegan protein powders. It it uh, it just tastes kind of more natural. Uh, it's a little low on flavor, I guess if you can say it in that way. It's not a super strong taste. It's not super chocolatey or super rich. Um, it's kind of a subtle chocolate taste, which is good if you don't like that really rich, um, intense taste or flavors or super sweetness. It's not super sweet. It's got a little bit of sweetness because it does have stevia in it. Um, it's not, it's not a really powerful, strong taste. Um, so that's as far as it tastes. And then I would say it's a little hard to mix. It still was a little bit clumpy to me, even after a lot of shaking with the shaker bottle. A little clumpy, a little thick, um, might be a little better blended or with more liquid in there. Um, so that was probably the only real like downside. Taste is good, um, but the the um, mixing factor, a little lumpy, a little clumpy, which is common of a lot of vegan proteins. So now I will let you get back to my original recording and the rest of my thoughts on this shake. Thanks for understanding, guys. So if you don't like that synthetic taste, you'll probably like this. Um, I'll have to try it probably a few more ways and times. A lot of times if I'm not sure, I will play with different amounts of ingredients. I'll try adding in some of my own things like stevia or maybe more cocoa or something to add flavor. Overall, I would give it maybe like a 7 out of 10. In a previous video, I did a review on Orgain. And that's probably, I mean, if you had to put a vegan protein powder at a 10, I don't know if anything's like super amazing, but I would say that's, I mean, that's the best one I've tasted. So if that were a 10, I'd say this is probably like a seven or eight. I think it needs a little tweaking. I would probably add a little bit more flavor in there, but it's definitely not bad. I've had some that are just gross. It's not gross at all. It's just very simple, kind of plain, clean tasting, just a little thick. Um, so that's my, feedback on the Kyo protein or KO protein. So I haven't seen it anywhere. I think it's a new brand, but check it out. Give it a shot. Um, I'll put a link in the description to this if I can find it so that you can um, check out their product and maybe try this. Um, definitely worth a try. Like I, it's, it's pretty, pretty decent for a vegan protein. Um, so that's that. So that's another great snack option is always a protein shake. That's an easy way to get in lots of protein, a little bit of carbohydrates, um, and a good healthy snack to keep you full throughout the day. So I hope this is helpful to you. If you have other snack ideas, leave them below for others. If you want more snack ideas, I can think of many more. I'm always having to come up with something to keep me fed throughout the day. So if you'd like more suggestions, if you want tips, if you want help with nutrition coaching, things to eat, any personal training, I do all of that online. So you can reach me at renewalfitcoach at gmail.com. I'll put all the information below. Thanks for watching today and I will see you soon.